Well, we normally like to show you around some of the studio space where I normally do the teaching, but with uh, the COVID-19 uh, issue going on right now, uh, all of that's closed down, so I haven't been teaching currently. But as far as what we like to do or what we do regularly when we are practicing, um, with dance, there are so many. Um, I've, I've taught 25 different styles of ballroom dance in the last 15 years, and together we we do a handful of those, maybe four or five. Uh, Sarah Very prefers. Picky. <laughs> <laughs> Which do you prefer? Uh, waltz is number one, thanks to Beauty and the Beast. And then I really like Rumba as well. Yeah, and I really like those too, so it works out well. <laughs> we spend a lot of time on it too. To get good at a ballroom dance, you could spend a lifetime easily developing it and increasing your, your knowledge and understanding of the dances, That's, uh, that goes without saying. Uh, but uh, it doesn't take long to get started and to enjoy dance either. Um, anyone can pick up a couple of dances within a few months uh, or even a few weeks. Um, if you're just learning choreography, say for a wedding dance or some particular event, you can learn that in a few weeks or a handful of lessons depending on how complicated the choreography is. Um, to get really good at it, well, I'll put it this way. Dance has uh, a hierarchy of skills that's built into it. There's um, 19 competitive dances across four different categories, and those categories each have levels. And they call it bronze, silver, and gold levels of difficulty. Bronze, of course, being beginner level. And anybody can get, to get, get pretty good at that within a few months. Um, if you really want to get into dance, uh, you really have to put quite a bit of time into it. Like a martial art, or learning a musical instrument, or even learning a foreign language. These are skills, and dance is very much skill-based as well. So you can develop that skill, and you can also lose that skill. You have to keep up on it. But that said, uh, one of, the, fun, one of the, the great aspects about it is that it's fun. It's very, very fun. And so you want to continue doing it. And as you do it more, you get better and it becomes even more fun. And you can take those skills with you all of your life. And I often think that it's a, it's a quality in dancers that those who dance together tend to stay together. Well, I was teaching a country two-step class years ago, which was funny because I don't actually like country music, but I do know the dances, and so I was roped into teaching this series, uh, ongoing series uh, downtown. Um, one of the one of the uh, <laughs> one of the series uh, Sarah showed up to, and I started going regularly too. So I started noticing her from week to week as each of the classes went by, and I noticed her noticing me, and I started noticing her more and um, I kind of made it obvious <laughs> she did and, and that was helpful I appreciate that <laughs> so we started dancing together and I asked her if if she would like to practice with me regularly and we, we started doing doing so and um, that worked out really well and three years later uh, we're still together we're still dancing we just enjoy it very much